Hey everyone, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and uh, today I'm up for UK Scrap Addicts. So today is the first of the month and so we are starting with our um, new theme, new topic, which is monochrome layouts. So monochrome layouts um, don't necessarily mean you need to use just one single colour because that would be super boring. Um, but for us, monochrome layouts would be um, the use of black and white and then a single colour. So um, I am bringing out some texture paste. This is some black texture paste. Um, and these are some new stencils that I've picked up um, recently. And I have cut myself down some three inch squares and I'm gonna make a grid layout with these. And yeah, these little three inch squares, um, I'm just adding some of this black texture paste in over the top. And just at the beginning there, whilst I was doing my little introduction, um, I was showing you that I'd cracked out some embossing folders as well. So I wanted to try and um, use the white, um, but making it more, making it using my supplies that I've got. So I, I shopped, I shopped my supplies in my room. Um, and really made the most out of um, using the black texture paste and also the embossing folders to create um, some different um, some different textures rather than using pattern paper. So I've got this piece of um, pink cardstock and it's an ombre one, so it goes from lighter to darker or vice versa. And um, I'm just arranging my squares on my layout. And I was tempted to back the squares and I decided against it in the end. You'll see what I do as I go further through the video. Um, so I want to add a bow on. I'm absolutely obsessed with bows on my layouts at the moment. So I have this. This is another new die that I've got as well. And um, I'm just going to make this up. And this is a bigger bow, um, which is great because I wanted it to be um, like a feature on my one of the squares. So I decide to only use one of these in the end. And this one here, it's got a die that goes over the top. Um, I probably could have die cut that both together at the same time in hindsight, uh, but never mind. Um, so yeah, it just, the die goes over the top and then it creates all these little holes in the top of the bow, which is super cute. And then I'm just creating the banners that go um, behind the bow. And I'm using up scraps from um the pink fresh studio my favorite story i think it's called um so i had a whole load of random bits of pink paper left um in this collection i've really used that collection up almost to its um to its fullest i've only got a few puffy stickers left and it's great to be able to get through a collection so i was super excited now what i didn't envisage is um the color of the pattern paper on the back um so there is a little bit of blue that shows through um and i could have covered that in um white paint or some gesso um to mute it down but you don't see much of it so i'm not counting it as another color um i'm just going to I'm just going to go with it. So I'm just making the fishtail banner here, and and if you don't have a bow die, you could um, you could just get a template um, online and just um, fussy cut one out. So if you haven't added bows to your layouts before, then um, this is another great way to be able to add an embellishment um, if you don't have much ephemera. Like for this collection here, I've got very little ephemera left. Um, and um, nothing that's really going to help me out on this layout, especially with um, it being monochrome, being single colour. So um, this is how I think I'm going to have my um, my squares, and I have a rummage through my printed photos, and I wasn't really sure where I was going to go with this and what photo I wanted to use, but I found this, um, this one that I had... Um, printed from uh, this was from last year snapchat photo from last year um, and the colors work perfectly um, I was wearing like this pink uh, pink blanket in it um, so I'm going to use that as my photo um, this photo wouldn't ordinarily um, not necessarily ordinarily get scrapped on a 12 by 12 but 
um, I um, I just went with it. It worked really well with um, with my design. Now I decided my background was too clean, so um, I've got out my my big boys, I call it, um, which is my Posca paint pen, and I'm adding some white ink splatters um, over the background to um, just to give it a bit more design because it did look a bit a bit plain and boring uh, with nothing in the background and. Next, I'm really playing with my dies um, with this layout. As I said, when it's come to the end of a collection, um, I've got very little uh, ephemera left to work with. So um, I'm really working my dies hard on um, on this layout um, and the embossing folders and the stencils and the texture paste. So um, it just shows that, you know, you can have very few um, packs that, you know, die cuts um, and things like that and actually still make... Um, a layout with um, things that you probably have already got in your craft room. So um, I cut some of these um, hearts out and I'm going to pop some up on foam just to give it a little bit of dimension. And now I'm looking back at this layout um, as I'm doing the voiceover. I really love how the embossing folders have um, add, added so much extra texture um, to the layout so I'm definitely going to get my um, embossing folders out a lot more um, on my scrapbook pages and also the texture paste as well I do shy away from mixed media a bit um, I I get scared with mixed media um, it for me it never turns out how I expect it's going to turn out um, and so I'm very self-critical when it comes to using uh, mixed media products but um, I really am happy with the way that the stenciling turned out on this layout. So I've just sped that whole part up um, where I've added my title on. I've used that pink word journey um, from an older pack of thickers. Um, so again, just diving into my stash. And I've just used the tiny little um, white alphas, the Paige Evans ones to spell out life is A. And then the title is completed by the word journey. So I'm going to add some, I want some other textures on here. So I'm going to add some pom-pom trim, um, which is another one of my favorites to, um, to include. And again, this goes so far. Um, so this, this pom-pom trim just, it lasts me ages anyway. So I'm going to add in, um, three little, um, strips of the pom-pom trim into um, a few of the squares now with the squares I didn't stick them all the way down around the edges I put a diagonal strip of double-sided tape um, through the middle and that allows me to be able to lift the edges up and tuck things underneath as I, as I want and what I also did as well you can use a distressor to go through around the edges um, of the squares um, sometimes I like to just use my fingernail just to go around um, and lift the edges up slightly um, so that's what I did as well and that just creates that little bit of shadow around those squares um, so it just gives it a bit of added interest as well so I'm using some glossy accents to stick down um, stick this thread down not the thread <laughs> to stick the pom-pom trim down um, and I love how the pom-pom trim looks on this. Now, this was the most fun that I've had um, with my supplies making a scrapbook layout in a while. I literally went through um, my supplies and I just pulled out anything um, that I saw a pink embellishment on. And I thought, right, I'm just going to get it on a layout. So I have a llama or an alpaca. I'm not too sure <laughs> which it is. Um, but I have... Um, a llama strick alpaca um, from an older, um, I can't remember what collection that was now, Good Vibes, is that what it's called? Um, so I pulled that llama and the little um, flower bit off that sticker sheet. And then I've got these stickers and these ones are so old. This, I think Fine and Dandy, the Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy collection was out maybe four or five years ago. Um, and it's one of my first, um, one of my earliest su supplies that I bought and I ended up buying a couple of packs of, um, the stickers. So I've, um, I've still got some in my stash, um, unsurprisingly. So I saw this little flamingo. So I thought, right, he's pink, he's going on. So that is going to make it onto my layout. Now I know the alpaca has got like a green, um, rug on his back and I'm, I'm not too worried that there's 
a small amount of another colour um, on the embellishment. I'm just going to go with it. Let's just pretend it's not there. I could get a, um, a marker and cover it up, but I thought, <sighs> who's going to worry about a little bit of green as well? So from the same sticker sheet, um, I saw the uh, sticker that said, have fun, okay? Um, so I've added that on. Now, because this is going on to... Um, a textured background so either onto the um, embossed paper or it's going onto the paper that's had the um, texture paste I am using either double-sided tape on the embossed um, paper or I'm using glossy accents um, on the um, the texture paste because um, the stickers will not stay um, if I just put them onto that um, it does not like to stick onto texture paste so next up, I found uh, these in my stash and I think these are from Pink Fresh Studio and they're tiny little um, pink word stickers. So again, um, some more pink going on to this. So I just used some that the, um, the sentiments worked for this layout. And then next, I'm grabbing out my uh, Maggie Holmes sticker book and just going through and finding anything that's pink that I might want to add on to here. So I find a couple of bows and I do my, make my way through this sticker book and add quite a lot on, um, which is great to get some of this used up. And I think I've got two of the Maggie Home sticker books as well. So um, I went a bit crazy on the sticker book front. All of the, the when they released these sticker books, I bought all of them and then they started to release more and I haven't bought any of the newer ones since because I haven't made my way through these ones yet. So... I'm trying my best with this um, and then I found this one that says be a light and I thought this could just be a very um, <clears throat> bit of a pick me up page um, so yeah just adding all of the pinks on uh, pink and black are my favorite colors so this really works well for me and then these little washi strips are so cute now I am leaving those two boxes at the top left and the bottom right alone um, because I think it would just get too busy with too much on there and also where the embellishments are at the moment we have those going down I have those going down in um, almost a diagonal um, across the page so from the top right to the bottom left um, and I think it would just get a bit too busy if I started to add um, bits and bobs into the, the top left and the bottom right so next up I also have these I think these are from Studio Calico and um, I've had these for a few years as well and these are little chipboard words and again just found some that really worked the sentiments worked for my layout and then I've just got some enamel dots to finish it all off I mean, this is pretty much done. So thank you very much for joining me for today's video. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you are new. If you are watching over on UK Scrap Addicts, head on over to my channel, Scrappy Nerd UK, and vice versa. Um, I will leave all of the links to both channels in the description box down below. Um, and stay tuned for some more scrappy fun. See you soon. Bye.